Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to add two fractions to a whole number. But first, we need to remember that in a fraction like this one, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. In this example, we need to add one half plus three fifths plus four. And there are several methods to add two fractions to a whole number. However, my favorite strategy is this one. First, we add the two fractions together and then we add the resulting fraction to the whole number. So let's start by adding one half plus three fifths. To add these two fractions with unlike denominators, I would like to use the cross products method. In this method, we will start by multiplying the denominators. And 2 times 5 is 10. 10. Then we are going to cross multiply. Over here, 1 times 5 is 5. Perfect. Next, we have the plus sign. On the other side comes 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Nice. Don't forget to add the whole number. So, plus 4 over here. 5 plus 6 give us 11, 11, and then we put 10 over here in the denominator. That's it, 1 half plus 3 fifths is 11 tenths. And now we're going to add the whole number plus 4 come over here. We're going to add a fraction to a whole number. And the easiest way to add a fraction to a whole number is this one. We'll start by multiplying the denominator by the whole number. Then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 10 times 4 is 40, plus 11 give us 51, 51, one more time, 10 times 4 is 40, plus 11 give us 51, finally the denominator stays the same, 10 come over here, the answer is 51 tenths, perfect! At this point we should remember the improper fractions, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. In this example, 51 tenths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 51 is greater than the denominator 10. And if this is an improper fraction, it means that we could convert it to a mixed number. This last step is optional, okay? So how many times does 10 go into 51? How many times does 10 go into 51? Well, 10 goes into 51 5 times. Now we multiply. 5 times 10 is 50. To get 51, we need to add 1. Once again, 5 times 10 is 50. To get 51, we need to add 1. Finally, the denominator stays the same. 10 come over here. The answer as a mixed number is 5 and 1 tenth. So here you have the answer as a fraction, and here is a mixed number. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about fractions, check out that playlist. Over here you have another video. See you next time and have a good one. Bye!